famous county cricketers turn out to play at St John's School Leatherhead in a game to raise funds for the new sports pavilion and the boys get a chance of seeing their heroes, especially Jack Hobbs. The great Surrey and England player may have retired from county cricket, but he just can't leave the game alone. Here's Jack batting now, still the stylist, but they get him in the end, LBW for 20. A great day for the boys and a busy one for Percy Fender signing autographs. Behind the scenes at the pageant of England at Langley Park, Slough. Here's Queen Elizabeth taking tea with Gwen Lally, the producer. Kings, queens and nobles camp out and show how domesticated they are. Gad Zooks, by my hilt, King Richard washes up. In days when knights were bold, it was quite the thing to poke the campfire with one sword. Lady Chumley, that's her real name, finds tea a pleasant stimulant to acting history. It's great to be a baby, especially if you were born on Jubilee Day and mother lived in Hornsey. Babies who arrived in the world on that famous day are presented with brand new perambulators by the mayor of Hornsey who handles a delicate subject with aplomb and seemingly with some uh, experience. Judging by the number of mothers at the presentation, the stork was rather busy on the King's Great Day. Here are two stories with a bang. Explosive is taken aboard a motorboat at Hull and carried out to the spot in the Humber where the trawler Edgar Wallace sank a few weeks ago. The wreckage is a menace to shipping in the river and efforts are made to disperse it by a series of depth charges. Tantivy, Tantivy, Tantivy. Clear the road for the stagecoaches. A picturesque memory of a gallant and peaceful age is recalled with this first summer meeting of the coaching club as the horses draw away from Hyde Park on a run to Hurlingham. In olden days, of course, Dick Turpin carried mask and pistol when he held up the coaches. Today, our modern dicks just wear Macintoshes and carry gongs. The world is appalled at the terrible disaster which overwhelms the capital of British Baluchistan, Quetta, the big military station on the northwest frontier of India. These pictures show you scenes in the native quarters of Quetta, now ravaged to a heap of ruins by a great earthquake. Some 200 British airmen and civil officials with their families were killed while thousands of natives were wiped out in town and village. Founders Day at Nautical College Pangbourne provides a distinguished audience of naval people with an opportunity to see a fine display by the cadets. These lads will one day take their part in manning British ships. Vice Admiral Chetwode takes the salute as the cadets march past to music that is as nautical as the occasion. An exhibition of massed physical drill follows. These exercises are carried out each morning, very early, during the routine daily training. 